autism diagnosis has evolved with time by incorporating other groups like Asperger's syndrome or people with minimal differences with the majority of the population. Today, autism is now referred to as a spectrum. The composition of the autism spectrum evolved as a consequence of the evolution of the diagnostic criteria, and the evolution of the diagnostic criteria are an attempt at integrating the way we understand autism. It, however, has led to the inclusion in the autism spectrum of people less and less different from the typical population. What are the effects of these changes on scientific study of autism? A Danish student, AMS Rothgard, in collaboration with French and Quebec researchers, realized a meta-meta analysis published in the prestigious journal JAMA Psychiatry. What is a meta-meta analysis? They collected the data from several published meta-analyses that measure differences between autistic people and the typical population and combine them. Their data include, therefore, over 27,000 autistic and non-autistic people studied from 1966 to 2019. When we want to understand in which aspect autistic and non-autistic people differ, we compare a group of autistics to a group of non-autistics and we measure the difference between both. The extent of this difference is called effect size. The authors compared the evolution of effect sizes in various cognitive tasks that were used in autism research over the last 50 years. They found that the effect sizes tend to diminish with time on five of the seven tasks identified. This decrease was up to 80%. The same process applied to schizophrenia did not show the same trend. This indicates that including more and more people in the autism spectrum in research diminishes our chances to find any differences between groups. The authors therefore suggest to use more homogenous subgroups to be able to better understand autism. Doing research this way will allow us to better understand each subgroup within the autism spectrum and to target interventions to the specific need of each person or subgroup.